The planet Mercury made a rare pass between the Earth and the Sun this morning, an event called a transit. Well, telescopes across the Front Range and much of the country, for that matter, were obstructed by clouds from this morning's winter storm. NASA, of course, works above the clouds, so they had a good view, and our Corey Repenhagen now explains. That tiny speck cruising in front of the Sun is the planet Mercury. Its journey between the Earth and our star, called a transit, was captured this morning by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. It takes Mercury about five and a half hours to move past the solar disk. This is a time-lapse shot in a few different filters. These transits can also be seen from ground-based solar telescopes, but today Mother Nature gave much of the country a different view, including here in Denver where a viewing at DU was canceled. This very rare event will only happen 10 more times in the 21st century, with the next one in November of 2032. Long ago, scientists realized that they could predict transits, and they used them to get some of the first measurements of our solar system. The sun is 93 million miles from Earth, and the first measurements of that distance were made by measuring transits. NASA says we also use transits to confirm that the planets rotate around the sun on the same flat plane, and it's also how we first discovered that Venus has an atmosphere. Our measuring of transits doesn't stop at our solar system. NASA has discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets in the universe and expect to discover tens of thousands more with their latest mission called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. When a planet like the Earth passes in front of a star like the Sun, it's 84 parts per million fainter. And so that's a really tough measurement to make, but we have the technology now to do so, and we're finding planets through this method. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News.